a fear of the coronavirus has spread around the world. But this is hardly the first time we've reported on a deadly new infection. So Roger from Hudson wanted to know, how does a virus start? Good question. Heather Brown explains where outbreaks come from. The U.S. is on alert for West Nile virus. And swine flu and the worst Ebola outbreak. Middle in East history. Respiratory Syndrome, known as MERS. And we're not even touching the surface with norovirus, HIV, common colds, measles, mumps, rubella. Chris Ayersman is head of infectious diseases at the Minnesota Department of Health. What is a virus? So a virus is made up of genetic material. And it can only live inside the cells of a living host. According to the NIH, there are more than 200 viruses that affect humans, but hundreds of thousands that can live in other kinds of animals. In the U.S. have a new and deadly coronavirus. When we say it's new, we say it's new to us as the human family, but it's a virus that was um, infecting other animals before. Oftentimes, these viruses spread from animals to humans. It depends on the virus um, in terms of what type of exposure. MERS jumped from camels, SARS from civet cats, swine flu from pigs. And then that virus jumped from the animal to the human and then modified itself so that it could cause illness in humans. More cases of the coronavirus have been confirmed in the U.S. What makes this situation unique is the fact that this virus has not only infected people, but has modified itself so that it can spread between people. Viruses can make that jump anywhere, but experts say it's more likely to happen in places with more human-animal contact. Really, any culture that has live um, animal markets is simply because there's more opportunity for humans and animals to interact on a regular basis. We see that less here because we just don't interact with animals on nearly the same level that we see in other parts of the world. Viruses seem really sneaky. They are sneaky, and we talk about that. They're, they're wily, and we talk about that even with influenza. They're constantly changing and reinventing themselves, and that's why we're monitoring this situation so closely. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Companies are working on a vaccine for the coronavirus now. The only virus we've eradicated is smallpox, and that happened primarily through vaccines.